Hi, I'm going to film this time rather than just take photos because it's quite a bit to explain. This I'm going to get up closer in a second. I just want you to see with it hanging there as if it was sat on a shelf. So here we go. I'm going to get up closer. I'll lay it down because it's going to be easier. This is my steampunk clock. Maybe like, no, I don't know, it's the best way for an angle. Sorry about this. Here you go. <laughs> As you can see, this here is full of um, charms. They are cogs, which I love and I have heaps of. Uh, there's a belt that I made here to go across there. This is the clock in the centre. And this here is uh, a die that I used. Um, they're latches for a door, but I thought they looked really cute on there. And then here, this piece here is dry embossed um, copper foil, which I wrapped around some chipboard and I thought it looked like washer, so I thought it fit in quite nice. The keys are hanging as if pendulums. So that's what the front of it looks like. Turn it to the side. You can see that's the album inside which I'm going to take out for you. It's very difficult to do with one hand. So old, bear with me, bear with me. I might have to put the camera down. Can I do it? I don't know. I think this is not going to be one take and I've done it, do you? I think it's going to be several takes but then I'm sure you'll bear with me. Right, here we go. This is the album that I made to go inside. As you can see, steampunk theme. These cogs here, the large cogs, are a, um, this die. I used two dies throughout this album. The, this die here, which I love because you've got three different sizes, and then the other die that I used is this one here. Right. I used two collections of papers for the clock and the album. Uh, just little bits out of both, which is Steampunk Spells, Graphic 45, of course, and Steampunk Debutante, which I love, love, love both of these papers. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out because these are my go-to pads. So there's the front of the album. It's just a small album that slots inside. And what I've done, I've cut out that die cut and I've wet embossed just to make it a little bit more interesting. I don't know if you can see the difference on camera between the card there and the shiny bit at the end. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But that's what I did. You can pop a photo underneath there. So one side of the pages has got this attached. Then the other side has got where you can just pop inside like that. But also in each end comes out, and I can do it one-handed, a tag for you to pop a photo on and that goes into the end you'll see all of them have got so each section is you know just different papers on the same theme you've got plenty of space to put things in and photos slip easily under there so that's not a problem so I'll just quickly show you the papers I used I tended to use more of a plain and then a pretty you see what I mean um, and if it's got too much of a pattern, this here wouldn't show up too well. Shows up against the orange, but that would have been completely lost on that page. So that's why I did the changes as I went along. And then at the very end, this one here, you can just again pop a photo in. And that's the back of the book and the side. Not a lot of decoration on the front of this book like I normally do. Um, because it slots into the middle of the uh, clock, 
and you only see this section, I didn't want to go and put heaps of other things on that were then going to make it difficult to get in and out of the clock area. Well, I do hope you enjoyed looking at this um, very shaky video. Um, the pattern, I always follow patterns, some of you have asked me and I'm not clever enough to design my own. I follow patterns. This one is Laura Dennison following the paper trail. I do a lot of her work and she is fantastic. So. Thank you very much. Hope this works out and I don't have to do this all over again. Bye for now.